I just wanted to give you an update on our garden. Um, please excuse the face. It's been a rough couple of days, as many of you know, and if you don't, um, Josh had to have unexpected emergency back surgery. So we've spent the last like four days up at the hospital and he's finally home recovering. Everything went great, thank God for that. Um, yeah, so let's look at the garden. All right, so I'll start with the first bed over here. We started everything in this bed from seed. Um, so let's start off over here. We've got squash and zucchini, which is great. Um, we're going to have so much of that. There is broccoli in here, carrots. Uh, let's see. We've got some beans. Look at this little, lots of weeds, don't mind. I need to spend some time out here and give it some TLC. Um, so these are bush beans. We've got a few little babies over here. And then over here we have dragon's um, tongue beans. So these are the purple beans. They're pretty cool. We did try some from our first harvest. They're actually really good um, and they're pretty sweet tasting. Let's see, there's nothing on these plants. There's some more of the dragon's tongue right here. Right here we have kidney beans. Um, these aren't doing very well. I'm not sure if it's like the heat that's getting to them. Whoops. I'm not really sure, but they're not getting very big and they're dying. Here's one that I should have harvested, but didn't, so we'll give it to the chickens. Here we have sugar snap peas. I cannot wait for these to start producing. I love sugar snap peas. And this one has already started flowering out, so that's a good sign. We got some lettuce there over here in this bed it is like a jungle like it is just running rampant so here we've got some lettuce mix that started our strawberry plant here which it's not given us any fruit yet so I'm not too sure what it's waiting for but I would really love some strawberries right now some spinach our lettuce here, our red leaf lettuce, um, it stormed really bad last night, so this took a beating. Like, it's all leaning over and sad looking. <laughs> Jalapenos. Man, check those puppies out. Now, these aren't like the normal jalapenos you see in the store. They're kind of weird. Um, they're like skinny and long, so yeah. Our cabbage, just forming in there. So we will be having cabbage, and I cannot wait for that either. Our broccoli, I've already harvested the head of the broccoli, but I did read that you can cut the head off and it will produce like side sprouts. So I'm waiting for that to happen. This is another pepper plant. This is the habanada pepper plant. Looks like we're going to be having some peppers start very soon and this bad boy is our watermelon plant um, it is taking over like I had to move it extend it from the bed put a little piece of cattle panel under it but look it's flowering I'm really hoping that means we get watermelons this season that would be great and then you've got this mess this one's even worse than the other one. I've already been out here. These zucchini, they're not getting very big before, like, they're rotting. I'm not sure what's going on there either. And the squash, so it's scallop squash, same thing. It's completely rotting. We have another one starting, a few of them starting. I'm hoping these will actually produce and grow before they rot off. I just don't know why it's happening. So, if you guys know, please, please let me know. 
I would like to be able to try some of this, but yeah. All right, over here, oh no, that's not good. Oh, those just completely burn off. We'll give those to the chickens too. So this tomato plant is a mamajama. This is an Italian heirloom plant. And look, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm sure there's more, but they're so camouflaged. Like, it's hard to see them. Look, there's another one. And then over here, we have the black brandy wine tomatoes. So we've got a couple over here. We've got some flowers here, so those should start throwing out tomatoes soon. Let's see, I know there's some more. Some more starting right there. Oh, look right here. There's probably more I'm missing. Oh look, one back there in the back. And then we have this pepper, this lone little pepper. I gotta find out when to harvest that bad boy because I do not want that to go bad. I've never tried this kind of pepper before. It is an Auxilio Thin Skin Italian Pepper curious about that over here our zucchini plant is like taking over this thing is a mammoth like look at these leaves that's insane and the zucchini got some good ones there like this one might be ready to harvest here um yeah we've got one two three four five Six, and I picked already like two or three of them off because they weren't looking so good. And I haven't been out here in a few days, like I said, because of Josh's surgery. So I came out here and look at this. We have a freaking um, cucumber. Look at this thing. Like it just came out of nowhere. There's one there and these suckers hide too. Where's the other one? We have more starting. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It's down there. I can't wait for those. Like, I want this thing to just, like, take over. And I want to make pickles. That'd be awesome. All right, so let's see what we have. Oh, no. These aren't very good. Okay, so everything in this bed, I we started from seed two. So these are pepper plants here and there. Tomato plants. So I don't know if you guys watched my one video where I was talking about my tomato plants, and if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. These things were like tiny I'm talking like little bitty guys and that's what I said in my video and now look they are actually like doing something I'm shocked I thought these were for sure gonna die that's crazy like they've been this small for so long and like these aren't doing that well but that's okay I've got a lot of weeds in here guys I really need to spend some time out here and neglecting it. We've got cauliflower, more weeds. Let's see what else. Look at this basil. I thought for sure all of that basil died. I can't believe that. Let's see, more weeds. Let's get this out of here. I feel like this is gonna take over if I don't get it out. I'm pretty sure that this is cilantro growing or something. 
I'm not too sure actually. <laughs> and then we have another watermelon plant. This thing is doing so good. It's crazy. Here we have Brussels sprouts. Now I'm super confused about this because I thought Brussels sprouts grew on a stalk. Actually, I know they grow on a big old stalk, but look at this. Are, what are these? Are these Brussels sprouts? Like, is this how they start? I feel that that's not right. It's, they're weird and they're flowered, so I don't know. Like, have they already bolted? I have no clue. Um, the okra. I'm super excited about this. I love okra raw, cooked. It doesn't matter. I love it. These are herbs. I'm just not sure what kind. Broccoli, which it looks like something has been feasting on this, which is not good. Planted some onions over here. I don't know that those are going to do anything, but this definitely looks like a start. Yeah. Also, I planted mammoth sunflowers around the whole, like, garden perimeter. So these things are going to grow, which they do. They get, like, seven foot, eight foot tall. So that's pretty cool. And, like, the sunflowers will be, like, the size of your head. It's nuts. Yeah, so that's the garden. I'll show you all the next harvest we have. And of course, I'll come show you the chickens. They are in their mobile chicken tractor still. All right, let's see. These are the meat birds here. Don't be camera shy. Hi girls. There's Hope. I am so happy. She's doing so well and didn't die. It was very questionable there for a while. Let's see. We've got a Rhode Island Red back there. Um, laying down next to Hope. That is not a meat bird. That is actually a white Ostra. Oh, we got Big Bertha here. You wanna come say hi? No, they're they want they want some feed is what they want. Look at them. Hi. Please don't bite me. Hi. They don't ever let me touch them, so I'm surprised they're doing this, but like I said. I think they want some food. This is another Easter Egger, which is actually what Hope is, but as you see, she's like a completely different color. And then we have another Rhode Island Red right there, and next to that is another Ostra. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe. Like, look at the size difference between this one, which is a meat bird, and that one, which is an egg layer. That's just crazy. All right, I will get y'all some water and some a little bit of feed. Not much, because y'all are supposed to be free range in here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Okay, so I broke up some of that zucchini that was like rotting. You think these things would want to eat it? But watch. Here, girls. Oh, there we go. They're eating it now. They just don't want to eat it out of my hand, I guess. Let's see if we can break this squash. Look. They want some feed, that is for sure. Like them. 
have some clean water too. All right, this is what they really want, some food. You think these things are starving. A couple more handfuls. 